My name is Jared McCain. My name is Jace McCain. We got closer more towards my high school years. Yeah. I mean, we've always been close just as brothers, but that kind of age gap where he was in high school and I'm kind of lower middle school. So we weren't that close, but we were obviously brothers, so we did everything together. I mean, obviously growing up, we'd play one-on-one -on -one nonstop. I'd continuously beat him like I do now. But yeah, we, we would always compete when we were young. Big brother playing the little brother and, you know, they get in a little typical, like, I'm better than you, you, you know, no, you're not, back and forth. And, and uh, Jace really did love picking at Jared. Jace's mission was to tease Jared. And he swears that that's why Jared is the player he is today, because of how um, tough he was on him. I think that really did, uh, help him out, like me somewhat bullying him, it turned him into a dog. I really do think it has helped his, his, pro his process. And then when they got older, um, it just, you could just see him like getting closer and closer. During COVID, that's when things really started to connect and click for us and his development as well. Jace uh, had his health issue over COVID and all that. They relied on um, on each other a lot during that time. Obviously, they have a great bond, you know, seeing their relationship and the fact that both of those guys have gone through a lot together and then to see their bond grow even stronger during their year here uh, in our program has been incredible for us to see. So my journey has been pretty different and unique, I would say. High school, I kind of had some health problems. Uh, doctors couldn't figure out exactly what it was. Uh, so I missed a few games here and there. I missed half a season my junior year. So recruiting uh, was a little lower for me. And so that's why uh, the Division II option ended up being my best option. It kind of stunted his progress in, you know, he was luckily able to play a D2 and got a scholarship and that was amazing. Then I get to college, commit to Cal State San Marcos, I'm still feeling pain, it's something in my chest. Doctors thought it could have been a heart problem, it wasn't, and they finally found blood clots, a pulmonary embolism, and that prevented me from playing my freshman year, so I had to red shirt, take blood thinners, uh, but then I was able to play after that. His whole life, of course, has, has been basketball, so when this happened, you know, we didn't know what the future was for his basketball career, but more so his life, you know, it threatened his life. We were like, you know, basketball is done. And in his, Jace's mind, he was very much, I'm gonna get back on the court. And he was able to finish and have a great career. All while this is going on, I'm kind of contemplating my own career and thinking like, man, like I probably won't get as far as I wanted to go all the way to the NBA. Um, and that's when I kind of started thinking about, I need to start investing in my, my little brother who has potential. Yeah, I started thinking like, I can also see those goals and uh, help him get there if I invest in him and kind of take a step back in my own, in my own career. Like I was just a little kid, I didn't really know what was going on. You know, at that point, he was obviously trying to get back to where he wanted to play and where he could play. Eighth grade is when I started to really fall in love with basketball and like everything that comes with it, becoming obsessed with it. And then that's when he obviously started making more sacrifices for me to become better, helping me off the court, on the court, um, helping me rebound. And then that's when COVID happened. We would train during COVID, uh, but like that's when I started taking less reps and like Jared needs to shoot more because I'm going to invest in him because I know how good he can be. Yeah, so during that time, that's like when I started really knowing like what was going on, um, you know, how much this affects him, how obviously he had, he had a dream and he's taking a step back just for me. So for me, that was huge just to know that like my brother would do anything for me. He'll sacrifice anything for me to help me reach the next level. So it almost gave me like the most motivation I ever needed. Um, and I've always I've kept that up until now. He's been there throughout this whole process. He helps me with everything. So through, from COVID, like that's when I just started working as hard as I can, doing everything I can to be the best player I can be on and off the court. And it's really because of him. Like I literally, I, he's the reason why I play. Like I do everything in the back of my mind. I'm like, I gotta get Jace. Me and Jace are gonna be at that level because it's both of our dreams to make it to the NBA. Um, so if I'm the one playing, then he's gonna be right there with me um, along this whole journey. So having him here, uh, it's like, it's, it's the best thing that could have happened. So I just appreciate him and yeah, he's the reason why I play and why I come out here. I talk to God all the time about how the reason why I step on the square, I want to play as hard as I can each and every single possession for Jace. So 
Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, it also gave me a sense of purpose. I'm sure everyone during COVID, you know, you start contemplating your life, like, what am I going to do next? And, you know, it just really gave me a purpose that I can help with his career. And without purpose, it, life is really confusing and you don't know what to do. And so for him to give me that was everything. We all realized Jay's had, could have had opportunities like Jared, but to see Jared feel like, I'm gonna make this work for both of us, says he's playing for Jay's. It, it gets us every time we, uh, it makes us very emotional. We're just so proud of both of them. And Jared saying, talking about it like that, it just, it gets us every time <laughs> naturally with jace you know not being able to play the game that he loved because of his career being cut short i think that gave more responsibility to jared to want to carry what jace had started blood could make him any closer i mean like um you know they're always together i mean it's great humble dudes to be around it's led them to so much successful things and it's going to keep doing the same thing they're really like inseparable in, in that sense i mean jared you can tell, like, the way he plays, he's he's playing for, you know, something, a strong purpose. And Jace being there, you know, this whole time as he's growing up and um, kind of living his dream through Jared now, it's it's cool to see, like, Jared's chasing his goals for his brother, too. You know, that's a, that's a really tough decision to um, for someone to, you know, give up something that they love and for their brother and, and to chase their brother's dream. But, you know, Jason's a really strong dude. He's, he's, he's intelligent, he's humble. Glad I met that guy, you know, he's a great dude. The whole family really, like after every game here in Cameron, just seeing uh, his mom and his dad and his, even like his center relatives will sit, you know, in the bleachers and watch and uh, just see them work together. I'm sure they're really proud of both of them. I, I've even seen workouts where Jared's mom is, is rebounding, Jared's dad's passing, Jason's guarding Jared. So it's a family business. It's really heartwarming to, to watch. Everything seemed to smooth out and then he graduated and Duke was next for uh, Jared. We didn't know that Duke was next for Jace also. When he got in, we were just so happy. And once I committed, it was kind of, my mom kind of suggested like what, what could happen if Jace could come. Um, he wants a feature in basketball. Uh, so we asked Shire about it and you know, he had to get in on his own. But well, we obviously were recruiting Jared, and you know we're so glad when he committed to, to come to Duke. Uh, and then the opportunity came about for Jace. You know he was finishing his playing career, and was a little bit at a crossroads. And he wanted to apply to come to Duke, and have the opportunity to be a part of our team. And you know we told him that's not in our control. If you get in, we'd love to have you. And thank God he got in. I knew what Jared would bring to the table because you're watching him play all the time. You know Jace through the recruiting process, but you don't know Jace on a daily basis, you know, the, the same way. And Jace has been such an incredible asset. The impact that he has made has been so significant, which is making everybody better. It just all kind of worked out, and it's always been my dream to be a part of, you know, a high major basketball program, let alone Duke. So it, it, it was an amazing opportunity for us for both of them to be here at the same time for the education and then the basketball part, it's amazing. Very, very blessed, happy, excited, all of it. We feel very lucky that they are as close as they are too. You know, if I have a paper or an essay to write, I'm gonna prioritize Jared's development over my paper, but I'm gonna get the paper done, but I'm gonna make sure, you know, I'm helping Jared's dream. Everything I do, Everything I do is geared towards helping me reach my goals. He's been a special guy to coach. Jace has been a special guy to have in our program. And the McCain family has just been such a wonderful addition to the Duke family. To actually see both of them uh, living their dream like in front of us, it's like, it gives us the best feeling. And again, following them through this journey and and loving it. It's even even better than I expected, you know. When I, since I was in elementary school, I've been obsessed with elite level uh, college hoops, and you know, Duke is the epitome of that. And so, you know, me being a part of this, it's once in a lifetime opportunity, and this has been the best place possible to to learn exactly what I what I want to do. They want truly what's best for each other. It's a special thing. They've just been able to make each other so much better on a daily basis. 
that's what every parent wants. You know, they want their kids to, you know, blossom, you know, feel like they have a really strong foundation to uh, teach others. That's been very fun to watch and know that they get it. Of course, before you have children, I had no idea how much I would fall in love with them. <laughs> it's gonna make me emotional, but they are my world. <laughs> Just um, love them to to the end. They always are here just to support me for anything, like literally anything, they'll be there. Just an, another uh, example of how I've been able to get to where I'm at. Me and my parents are constantly discussing what we can do to be of value to Jared and help Jared through this process. Anytime we're able to win, especially if he's on my side, it's it's a blessing. It's It, it makes it even, it makes it worth even more. Um, we, my support system, they're always there for me. Uh, so whenever we're able to win all together, it's a big win for all of us. Uh, with my family, with my brother. I've never been more ecstatic in my life to be a part of something. So I'm just excited that I get to be a part of it and also I get to watch my brother dominate the stage. I mean, this is this part of the season is it's the most exciting part. It's what you've worked all preseason, all in season four. I'm just excited to be along for the journey and I promise I'm gonna play as hard as I can every single possession um, to help this team win.